afternoon and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Latoya Silman. We have developing now the concerns over President Joe Biden staying in the presidential race. Those concerns now rising. Sources tell the Associated Press that even former President Barack Obama has privately expressed concerns to other Democrats. We're learning about several top Democrats raising those concerns as well. House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer recently had separate meetings with Biden. The Washington Post reports that they both discussed their concerns, saying that Biden staying in the race could hand Republicans majorities in their chambers. Jeffries and Schumer acknowledged those meetings, but they did not disclose the topics discussed. CNN reporting that former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has privately told President Biden that he can't defeat Donald Trump. That report says Pelosi told Biden that he could ruin Democrats' chances of winning the House. Biden reportedly responded by saying that he has seen polls that show he can win the 2024 election. The president says he's not dropping out. So this comes as President Biden is now at his home in Delaware recovering from a case of COVID-19. Now, luckily, he says he only has mild symptoms. News 3 was the first to share that diagnosis after it was announced that his speech at MGM Grand was canceled yesterday. The president has been at many events, as we all know, and uh, he just tested positive for COVID. He said to tell my folks that we're not going to get rid of him that quickly. <laughs> we're going to have a chance to hear from him in the future directly. Um, he's just really sorry he couldn't be with us. President Biden was supposed to address Latino voters at the Unidos uh, U.S. conference yesterday, but of course that didn't happen because of that diagnosis. Although he could not speak yesterday, the president has had a big presence in the valley this week. He landed in the valley Monday afternoon. Then on Tuesday, he spoke at the NAACP National Convention, visited CSN, and also surprised employees at Mario's Westside Market. Yesterday, he met with locals at the Mexican restaurant Lindo Mia Con. And um, before testing positive, and then he had to cancel the rest of his schedule, as we've reported. Now, President Biden's diagnosis put Nevada's only level one trauma hospital, UMC, on high alert yesterday. Law enforcement, first responders and doctors, they were all on standby for more than an hour just in case the president showed up, but he never did. The CEO of the hospital exclusively told News 3 that his staff was ready regardless of the no-show. We opened up our incident command center today, um, tested that system, that worked well. What I saw in action today, it worked extremely well. Again, glad we didn't have to use it, but we're always standing ready to be able to uh, execute if we need to. The CEO says the hospital adjusted within minutes of the news and then remained in contact with Biden's security team to make sure that they were ready in case the president needed emergency treatment.